spacious space to start observing on my run. My primary mirror is 6.5 meters across. $10 billion is the amount of my total cost. My primary mirror has 18 segments in a honeycomb structure. I'm powered by an onboard solar array. Of this, I am sure. This solar array provides me with 2,000 watts of electrical power and a propulsion system to maintain my observatory orbit To give a better understanding of the universe to some nations 13.7 billion light years is how far back in time I will see That's 100 million years after the universe was born, you'll agree So far I've discovered a distinct signature of water you see On the distant planet named Wasp 96b I also found evidence for clouds and haze in its atmosphere Surrounding the hot puffy gas giant planet that appeared stars in the Korean and nebula and dusty walls of gas they are formed with ultraviolet radiation and stellar winds with mass this is a dying star cloaked by dust and layers of light after its explosion showing colors only captured with the light there's a picture of Stefan's quintet a galaxy cluster showing huge shock waves and tidal tails there's more I'll muster there are so many more discoveries you will see using my giant mirror and infrared We're the Hubble Space Telescope and the James Webb Telescope, that's me. We're here to tell you about us and what we can see. After decades of planning and research, I was finally finished and launched in 1990 as NASA had wished. I orbit 340 miles above Earth's surface to do my thing. Powered by solar power collected by my two solar powered wings. I'm the length of a large school bus and weigh as much as two elephants, making more than a million observations. While traveling five miles per second I take sharp pictures of objects in the sky Such as galaxies, planets, and stars And transmit them back to Earth for you to see Earth's telescopes are blocked by the atmosphere To see light from space I orbit above this atmosphere To give a clear view of my star chase My achievements are pinning down the age of the universe And I discovered two moons of Pluto, Nix, and Hydra, of course I've helped determine the rate of which the universe is expanding in hole and discovered nearly every major galaxy is anchored by a black hole. The James Webb Telescope is an infrared space observatory launched in 2021 for space exploration. You see, I'm here to probe the cosmos and uncover the history of the universe from the Big Bang and alien planet formation and much more, of course. I'll take 30 days to travel a million miles to my home that's permanent orbiting the sun aligned with the Earth to explore space is my intent. When NASA built me to $10 billion was my cost. My impressive primary mirror is 6.5 meters across. It has 18 segments in a honeycomb structure, I say, and I am powered by an onboard solar array. The solar array provides me with 2,000 watts of electrical power and a propulsion system to maintain my observatory orbit by the hour. I have enough propellant on board to last 10 years of operation to give a better understanding of the universe to every Every nation. I can see 13 billion light years back in time, which is 100 million years after the universe was born. I do refine. We're important because we give a view of space that is clear, orbiting above Earth's foggy atmosphere. We're the Hubble Space Telescope and the James Webb Telescope. That's me. We're here to tell you about us and what we can see.
residency. Then the Apollo program started in 1961 and consisted of 11 total space flights and missions. Apollo was a NASA program that had American astronauts. Out of the 11 space flights, six of those resulted in moonwalks. The first four flights tested the equipment used in the Apollo program to see if astronauts could be sent to the moon and the International Space Station 1998 was the year that begun my construction I make multiple orbits around the Earth every day Let's learn more about my history as we orbit in space I fly around the world every 90 minutes I orbit the Earth 16 times in 24 hours That's legit I'm 357 feet long from end to end Am I after the moon? I'm the second brightest object in your sky I have two bathrooms on board There's also one gym I have six sleeping quarters And six spaceship docks for the win Here's a brief history about how I came to be Pay attention to my incredible collaborative construction story The idea of the space station was science fiction Until the 1940s The structure might be built by many nations In the 1950s designs of spaceships and space stations Began to develop with the beginning of the space age And it gained traction The first rudimentary station was created in 1969 By the linking of two Russian Soyuz vehicles in line. In 1984, the U.S. President Ronald Reagan told NASA to build the ISS for many nations. Then in 1998, the construction had begun of the only international space station. That year, the first segment of the ISS launched in November 20th by the Russian proton rocket named Zarya. It's no myth. The Unity node from the U.S. launched December 4th by the Space Shuttle Endeavour set it on its course. The Endeavour met Zarya in orbit with the Unity node to make the first connection with the Russian segment, you know. In the year 2000, the first crew to man the Space Shuttle a trip. 
left was Bill Shepard, Yuri Katanko, and Sergey Krikalev. The US lab module was added in 2001. Then the European and Japanese lab joined in 2008, and we're not done. The ISS consists of 15 nations, Canada, Japan, and the Russian Federation. The United States and the European Space Agency. They are Belgium, Denmark, France, Germany, and Italy. The Netherlands, Norway, Spain, and Sweden, Switzerland, and the famed United Kingdom. Maybe you will have the chance to visit me someday and be another part of the ISS and its history. I'm the ISS, the International Space Station. 1998 was the year that begun my construction. I make multiple orbits around the Earth every day. Let's learn more about my history as we orbit in space. Compared 
compared to Earth's moon Measuring 164 feet across I'm tiny, it's true I circle the Earth in a repeating corkscrew-like trajectory Never closer than 40 to 100 times the 239,000 mile distance of your moon, you see I'm odd and this is why I don't reflect brightly in certain infrared frequencies or to the eye Like other asteroids do I'm a quirky satellite and this is true Because of this, researchers are starting to agree I may be a chip off your known moon flying free Basically what you're seeing is a flying silicate Caused by micrometeorite impacts in the space environment It's possible when space rocks hit the moon at a high degree When I was ejected into space I am lunar debris I am a near-Earth object also known as NEO Part of a group of near-Earth asteroids called Apollo I'm an object in a specific type of core orbital configuration with a planet I'm called a quasi-satellite I know it's weird, but I didn't plan it Earth has a second moon, it's me Provisionally designated 2016 HO3 Kamu Avrava is thought to be an asteroid But that may have changed with new facts that we can avoid I am the sun, the center of your solar system I do erupt intense high energy radiation This radiation I expel is called the solar flare You'll learn about them in this song and why you should care The sun is a ball of plasma like an extremely hot ocean shaped like a wheel This plasma is pushed around and shaped by the sun's magnetic field When the sun's plasma swirls around by its magnetic field it gets twisted and releases energy around sunspots, they are real. This energy released is caused by magnetic knots. When one of these knots breaks, it releases solar flares, so you are taught. Solar flares are waves of high energy radiation shot through the solar system in which we are all one. These solar flares race through space at the speed of light, creating a solar proton storm. These storms are no delight. When millions of tons of plasma are thrown from the sun's atmosphere. These storms are called coronal mass ejections as you see right here. These CMEs reach speeds of 5.6 million miles per hour. When they hit Earth, it doesn't hurt living beings even with such power. The Earth's atmosphere protects life from the biggest solar storms by absorbing the impact so beings on the surface are safe from harm. When a CME is too big, it creates a solar super storm that occur once or twice a century so you've been warned if a solar superstorm did happen in this day and age it would shoot billions of tons of plasma from the sun i do say if this type of cme traveled across space towards the earth it would reach you in one day yeah that's fast for what that is worth its shock wave would compress earth's magnetic field making it frail the two magnetic fields would merge stretching earth's field into a thin tail this stretch tail can't contain this energy anymore when it snaps it releases explosive energy towards the earth that it stored this creates something very rare called the geomagnetic storm normally no living thing on earth would even know it had formed the only thing it would affect is your electricity because you rely on this so much it would disrupt human life you see because earth is covered in millions of electric wires and transformers this geomagnetic storm would shut down the power humans would be overturned if one of these storms hit the earth electricity and internet would not work all things powered by electricity would turn off along with all networks computers wouldn't work along with phones and electronic devices no refrigerators or any other household appliances 
consequences Even though we can't stop these terrible solar storms Their nasty side effects can be prevented by how we are warned Engineers would have a day or two to unplug major power grids Until the solar storm passes Earth, preventing blackouts we forbid Humans need to prepare for these types of storms To prevent being thrown back to the Stone Age before they form A cool event humans experience from any solar storm Is the Aurora Borealis at the two poles is where they perform I'm the life-giving sun, you all need me to live But I am unpredictable, so solar storms I give I am the sun, the center of your solar system I do erupt intense high energy radiation This radiation I expel is called the solar flare You learn about them in the song and why you should care I'm an exoplanet orbiting the star, Caro 7 you see. In the constellation of Monoceros, my name is Caro 7B. I was first detected photometrically in 2009 by the French led Caro. As the director of research emeritus at the CNRS, it's going on. I used to be the smallest exoplanet until the discovery of the exoplanet that was given the name Kepler's 37b. I do orbit. I'm an exoplanet orbiting the star, Caro 7 you see. In the constellation of Monoceros, my name is Caro 7B. When you travel 489 light years from the Earth to the constellation of Monoceros, you'll find Caro 7B. I have a diameter measured at 1.58 times that of the Earth. That means I have a volume 
My name is T-R-E-S dash to B. I'm a gas giant too far away to see. I'm the darkest exoplanet ever identified. I'm a bit bigger than Jupiter, I'll describe. With the discovery date of August 21st in 2006 is when they noticed me at first. I was confirmed a planet on September 8th in 2006 officially. My birthday, I was discovered by an astronomer named Francis T. O'Donovan. That is for sure. First seen on the transatlantic exoplanet survey, or you could call it TRES. It's an acronym, I say. This all happened in California. You will see at the famous Palomar Observatory. My discovery also took place at the Lowell Observatory located in Arizona. Now, here's more about me. My name is T-R-E-S dash to B. I'm a gas giant too far away to see. I'm the darkest exoplanet ever identified. I'm a bit bigger than Jupiter, I'll describe. GSC 03549-02811 is the star that I orbit and a long named one. My parent star is a yellow main sequence star similar to your sun. Just to keep you on par, I belong to a constellation in the far northern sky. It's name is Draco, which is Latin for dragon, I imply. I'm 750 light years away from your solar system. That's where I'll stay. I'm thought to be the darkest known exoplanet, reflecting less than 1% of any life that does hit. My mass and radius does indicate I'm a gas giant with a ball composition similar to Jupiter. You're super giant. I'm likely to be tidally My name is T-R-E-S dash to B. I'm a gas giant too far away to see. I'm the darkest exoplanet ever identified. I'm a bit bigger than Jupiter, I'll describe. Kepler 1649C 
I orbit a red dwarf, Kepler 1649. You now see exoplanets orbit outside your solar system. That's where I hide. I am similar to Earth. I'm spun. Find out more when this song is done. I was discovered in April 2020, the year by the Kepler Space Telescope. And so we are clear. Jeff Coughlin, the director of S E. I said I'm similar to planet Earth Found so far by the space telescope Kepler at large I'm about 300 light years from your Earth in the constellation of Cygnus For what that's worth I'm identified as a rocky planet By NASA My radius is 1.6 times that of Earth I know that you're in awe I take 19.5 Earth days to orbit my host star Kepler 1649 is its name The Red Dwarf in charge I am in the habitable zone Of my Red Dwarf star So far this is known If I can sustain liquid water on my surface around my sphere I am an exoplanet, my name is Kepler 1649C I orbit a red dwarf, Kepler 1649 You now see exoplanets orbit outside your solar system that's where i hide i am similar to earth i'm spun find out more when this song is done i am an exoplanet my name is kepler 1649c i orbit a red dwarf kepler 1649 you now see exoplanets orbit outside your solar system that's where i hide i am similar to earth i'm spun find out more when this song is done J14-07B, that's me I have a ring system bigger than Saturn, you see I orbit a young star and we can all agree Its name is V1400 Centauri In 2012 when I was discovered by Eric Mamajek at the University of Rochester I earned the name of Super Saturn Because of my massive system of circumplanetary rings for sure 90 million kilometers is the radius of my rings That's about 200 times the size of Saturn's rings Which makes me the king When I orbit my sun it takes about a decade Which is estimated at about 3,720 25 days I'm within the constellation of Centaurus It's about 434 light years from the Earth But I don't fuss No one knows if I'm 
a gas giant or a brown dwarf with rings I'm sure you'll find out more about me while I do my thing There's a gap in my rings which probably means one thing It may have been made by an exomoon of mine about this I do sing I also have another name when I show you you will see It is 1S Wasp J147B My name is J147B Seven B, that's me. I have a ring system bigger than Saturn, you see. I orbit a young star, and we can all agree its name is V1400 Centauri. My name is J1407B, that's me. I have a ring system bigger than Saturn, you see. I orbit a young star, and we can all agree its name is V1400 Centauri. I'm a hypothetical planet, they call me Planet Nine. In the outer solar system, you may notice me in time. I'm a hypothetical planet, they call me Planet Nine. I orbit your sun, when I'm discovered, I'll make headlines. I have yet to be discovered, astronomers search for me. That's the reason I'm a hypothetical planet, you see. Astronomers think I am in the outer solar system, I spin beyond Neptune's orbit. They think on average I orbit the sun 250 times that of the earth But no one knows until me they find Constantine, Batygin, and Michael E. Brown Think I could be the core of a giant planet that used to be around They think my original orbit used to be by Jupiter During the genesis of the solar system then ejected they sure As of May 2020 there's no observation of planet 9 But they have not ruled Find me in time. Wide field infrared survey, explorer survey space. Looking for me in the outer solar system, but still haven't found a trace. I'm a hypothetical planet, they call me Planet Nine. In the outer solar system, you may notice me in time. I'm a hypothetical planet, they call me Planet Nine. I orbit your sun when I'm discovered, I'll make headlines. My semi major axis is four to eight hundred AU. Astronomical units in this lesson I teach you My Earth mass is thought to be between 5 to 10 15 to 25 degrees is my orbital inclination After the discovery of Neptune in 1846 There's been speculation of another planet that might exist Maybe you'll become an astronomer and be the first to discover me But until then I'll be hypothetical I'm a hypothetical planet, they call me Planet Nine. In the outer solar system, you may notice me in time. I'm a hypothetical planet, they call me Planet Nine. I orbit your sun when I'm discovered, I'll make headlines. I'm a hypothetical planet, they call me Planet Nine. In the outer solar system, you may notice me in time. I'm a hypothetical planet, they call me Planet Nine. I orbit your sun. My name is Jupiter, the biggest planet you see. No planet in our solar system is bigger than me. My name is Jupiter, a windy planet I be. And I have 62 moons that rotate around me so free. The Romans gave me my name after their king of the gods because my size is so massive in the sea of the stars. Callisto, you short as they come. It takes 12 Earth years for me to orbit the sun. That makes one year on my surface. That's a really long run. My name is Jupiter, the biggest planet you see. No planet in our solar system is bigger than me. My name is Jupiter, a windy planet I be. And I have 62 moons that rotate around me so free. 89,000 miles. Is the amount that I'm wide I'm so big you could fit 1,000 Earths inside I've got a giant red spot It is a raging storm Scientists think 400 years ago Is when it took form Hydrogen and helium 
first planet From our sun you see My name is Mercury Nothing orbits faster than me The smallest planet with the second hottest degree My name is Mercury No one is smaller than me Messenger of the gods is what Mercury means The Romans gave me my name Cause I'm the fastest they'd seen A bit bigger I be than the Earth's moon that you see To fill the Earth one time It would take 18 of me I am the first planet from our sun that beams But I'm the second hottest I can reach 800 degrees 88 Earth days is the amount that I take To orbit our sun once That makes one year on me I am the first planet From our sun you see My name is Mercury Nothing orbits faster than me The smallest planet with The second hottest degree My name is Mercury No one is smaller than me 59 Earth days equals one day on me my surface is made of stone, covered in craters you see Oxygen, sodium, hydrogen, helium, and potassium Make up my exosphere I have no moons and I have no rings But I'm the second densest planet amongst other things I am the first planet from our sun you see My name is Mercury Nothing orbits faster than me The smallest planet with the second hottest degree My name is Mercury No one is smaller than me Towards the ground I am the earth The 
1.7 million species we all fight to survive You all live on me, so work like bees in a hive And keep this planet really healthy so that we can all thrive There are 12 different types of climates that exist on me Moderate, polar, dry, and tropical are four groups you see Then there is continental, it is the fifth category One climate in no group is highland way above the sea I'm the third planet from the sun, no one is denser than me My axis tilted 23.5, yeah that's my degree 4.5 billion years ago is when I was born, you see I am the earth, the only planet with organic life With 8.7 million species we all fight to survive You all live on me, so work like bees and keep this planet really healthy so that we can all thrive There are system and we revolve around the sun join us to learn about the different planets now sing along and have some fun my name is mercury i'm the second hottest planet i'm the closest one to the sun a year on my surface is 88 days i'm the smallest but lots of fun my name is Venus, not the hottest planet, but the second planet from the sun. I'm the brightest planet in our solar system, and I'm too hot for anyone. My name is Earth, I'm the planet you live on, and the third planet from the sun. I'm the only planet with organic life, so take care of me, cause we're all one. There are eight planets in the solar system, and we revolve around the sun. Join us to learn about the different planets, now sing along and have some fun. My name is Mars, I am red in color, and the fourth planet from the sun. I have the highest mountain in our solar system, a volcano named Olympus Mons. My name is Jupiter, I am covered in clouds, and I'm the fifth planet from the sun. My giant red spot is a raging storm, as for size, I'm the biggest one. My name is Saturn, I am brown in color, I'm the sixth planet sun. My outer rings are extremely thin. They're made of dust and icy chunks. There are eight planets in the solar system and we revolve around the sun. Join us to learn about the different planets. Now sing along and have some fun. My name's Uranus. I am blue seventh planet from the sun I orbit the sun once in 84 Earth years and was discovered in 1781 My name is Neptune and also blue in color I'm the eighth planet from the sun and I'm the last gas giant in our solar system and I'm also the coldest one There are eight solar system and we revolve around the sun join us to learn about the different planets now sing along and have some fun i am venus i'm the second planet from the sun and I'm the slowest rotating one 
of all the planets in our solar system. Now learn and have some fun. 243 Earth days is how long it takes for me to orbit the sun. That makes just one of my days. I'm 900 degrees. Yeah, that's Fahrenheit. I'm the hottest planet in the solar system. That's right. The sun sets in my east and comes up in my west due to retrograde rotation. I spin backwards the best. I'm the third brightest object to the naked eye from the planet of when you look up in the sky I am Venus I'm the second planet from the sun And I'm the slowest rotating one Of all the planets in our solar system Now learn and have some fun Carbon dioxide and sulfuric acid clouds is what makes up my atmosphere and for this I am very proud. Volcanoes, mountains, craters, and some big lava plains are what make up my bumpy surface and my clouds make no rain. I was named Venus after the goddess of love. The Romans gave me my name due to my brightness above. I am Venus, I'm the second planet from the sun. And I'm the slowest rotating one Of all the planets in our solar system Now learn and have some fun
dust on my atmosphere I have 13 moons with one still waiting to confirm it's here Mine is 392 degrees an average day on me And my winds are the strongest than any planet in our system See, My name is Neptune, the eighth planet from our burning sun I've got six rings made of dust and some rocky chunks About 165 Earth years makes one Neptunian year 57.7 Earths could fit in my giant sphere 2.8 billion miles is my distance from our sun One day on me is about 16 Earth hours of cold fun No life as we know it could survive on me I'm the fourth largest planet in our system, you'd have to agree My name is Neptune, the eighth planet from our burning sun I've got six rings made of dust and some rocky chunks I'm the largest satellite in the solar system seen I orbit Jupiter, my name is Ganymede Larger than Mercury, Pluto, and slightly smaller than Mars I'd be classified as a planet if I orbited our star Let me introduce myself, I'm Ganymede I orbit Jupiter, come and learn all about me out of all the known moons in the solar system I am the largest by far until a larger moon comes I was discovered by Galileo Galilei In the year of 1610 in January If I orbited the sun instead of Jupiter I'd be considered a planet by the IAU for sure I am larger than Pluto and our planet Mercury And I'm slightly smaller than Mars As you can see I do have an iron rich liquid core I'm made of equal amounts of silicate rock and water there is more I have an eternal ocean that may contain much more water than all Earth's oceans combined but no one knows for sure I'm the only moon known to have its own magnetic field I'm the ninth largest object in the solar system for real I'm the largest satellite in the solar system seen I orbit Jupiter my name is Ganymede Larger than Mercury, Pluto, and slightly smaller than Mars I'd be classified as a planet if I orbited our star My diameter is 3,273 miles I'm 26% larger than Mercury by volume with style It takes me roughly 7 days to orbit Jupiter at 665,000 miles, I assure I'm around the same age as my planet, Jupiter I'm 4.5 billion years old, I'm very mature Let's take a look inside and cut away my layers here Polar frost covers my surface, it did just appear Under my hexagonal ice, you'll find my saltwater ocean Then the tetragonal ice and rocky mantle within This is my iron and iron sulfate liquid core Followed by an iron core that's solid, you want facts, here some more I'm the largest satellite in the solar system seen I orbit Jupiter, my name is Ganymede Larger than Mercury, Pluto, and slightly smaller than Mars I'd be classified as a planet if I orbited our star I'm the largest satellite in the solar system seen I orbit Jupiter, my name is Ganymede Larger than Mercury, Pluto, and slightly smaller than Mars I'd be classified as a planet if I orbited our star I'm an extrasolar planet named 51 Pegasi B Discovered in 1995 at Oak Province Observatory I'm an extrasolar planet named 51 Pegasi B I am formally named Dimidium Yeah, that is me. I was the first exoplanet orbiting a main sequence star. 51 Pegasus.
ASI is my star's name. I know it sounds bizarre. I'm the prototype for a class of planets called Hot Jupiters. I'm 1850 degrees Fahrenheit, measured by astronomers. I was first discovered in the year of 1995 at the Hope Province Observatory with their eye tip towards the sky. The astronomers who discovered me, I will tell you in this song. They are Michelle Mayer and Didier Quillos. They are headstrong. My discovery had won these men a Nobel Prize in Physics. There was nothing to be said about them by their critics. My Jupiter mass is a round point four six. That's my unit of mass equal to the total mass of Jupiter, the planet. I'm located 50 light years from the constellation Pegasus. You need a very large telescope to see me. This you can trust. In 2015, the IAU announced my chosen name without a laugh. They named me Dimidium, which is an adverb meaning by half. Dimidium is my name because my mass is almost half of Jupiter's. Since my discovery, lots of exoplanets have been discovered. I am much closer to my star than Mercury is to your sun. That is why I'm so hot. Yeah. Well, I am spun. My orbital speed is in miles per hour, 304,000. Now that's a lot of great power. I am thought to be tidally locked to my host star. Much like the moon is to your Earth, but not as far. I'm an extrasolar planet named 51. Pegasus I B discovered in 1995 at Oak Province Observatory. I'm an extrasolar planet named 51 Pegasus I B. I am form a 